Hey, how's it going? So today we're going to be converting customary units of length. So the word convert means we're going to change. So we're going to change one unit to the next. And anything we're going to do today is going to have to do with length. So measuring how long something is. And customary is different than the metric system. We will also learn about the metric system, but today you'll learn what customary is. Okay, so this is the customary system. And we use it a lot here in the United States. Um, and it's a lot harder to switch from one thing to the next. But this chart will help you a lot. So I'm actually going to send a screenshot of this to your teacher too, so you'll have this to use on your assignment. Okay, so remember, we're gonna use this chart to convert or change one unit to the next. So, let's talk about some of our customary units. So the first one is a foot. So here we have a foot. You guys have probably seen this before, but our ruler is a foot long. A foot is abbreviated by FT. We can also say a foot is actually 12 inches. So, as we can see right here, these big numbers right here, goes all the way up to 12, that's inches. So this is an inch. Okay, and the way we abbreviate inches is IN. So 12 inches equals one foot. Okay, for the next one, it's even longer. And as you can tell, remember, everything here today is measuring length or how long something is in the customary system. Okay, so a yard is actually three of these. So if I was to put three of these all together, it's hard to put in the shot, but that would be a yard long. So three of these, three feet. And the way we abbreviate yard is YD. So it's three feet. We could also say it's 36 inches, which is 12 times three or 36. So three of these equals 36. Um, one mile. One mile is really long and really hard for me to show you, of course, on this video. <laughs> but um, a mile actually equals 5,280 of these, of feet. So um, that's really long. Or we could say it's 1,760 yards long. This is shorter than this because this has three feet in it. So this is actually this times three equals that, okay? So we started with our smallest and we worked all the way down. So a foot in inches, a yard, and how many it is in feet and inches, then a mile. So this is our largest down here and we got even smaller. Okay, as we do this chart, you're gonna learn if you're gonna be multiplying or dividing. So I'll show you that later on. Okay, so let's start with our first problem. So here's our first problem. <clears throat> For many of the thrill rides at amusement, at amusement parks, riders must be at least 48 inches tall. And by the way, this sentence was supposed to be next. Chang is four feet tall. Is he tall enough to ride a thrill ride at an amusement park? Okay, let's look and see. Okay, so he has to be at least 48 inches tall to be able to get on the rides. And he is actually four feet tall. So we're trying to decide, okay, is four feet enough to be 48 inches? Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this chart a lot. So I'll probably flip back and forth a little bit. But we basically want, want to put this into inches. So feet into inches. So I'm going from feet to inches. I'm going this way in my chart, right? So that means since I'm going this way, I'm multiplying. Or this is actually less, um, there's a smaller number, I guess you could say. And this is a larger number, so we're multiplying. Okay, so multiplying. That's the operation we're going to use. And let's see, one foot is 12 inches, right? Okay, so what we're actually gonna do is, 
we're going to take this, since we have four feet, we're going to times this by four, which is 48. So we basically took this, times it by four, and this times it by four, because he's four feet tall. He's not one foot tall, he's four feet tall. So we have to times that by four, and we get 48 inches, or IN is the same thing as inches. So is he tall enough to ride the rides? Let's see, he's 48 inches tall. He has to be at least 48 inches tall. So is he tall enough to ride the ride? The thrill ride? Yes, he is. Okay. I know it's kind of a little confusing, but as we go through, hopefully um, it'll make more sense. Maybe you got it right away. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Now let's go to our next problem. This one isn't a story problem. This is just a lot more simple. Um, but you're going to convert 42 inches to feet. Okay, so we are going to take inches. Let's look at our chart here. And we're going to convert it to feet. So we're going this way. So we're going to be dividing. Okay. And now we have to think, okay, or we're taking a, a bigger number and making it a smaller number. So we're dividing. Okay. So now we have to decide what two numbers are we dividing? Okay. We're taking 42 and we're going to divide it into feet. So let's see how many inches or in a foot. 12 inches in a foot. So we're dividing this by 12 because we're trying to put inches to feet. Inches to feet. So we're dividing by 12. This is what we start with divided by 12. Okay. Okay. How many times does 12 go into 42? Well, let's see. 12 times 2 is 24. That's not enough. 12 times 3 is 36. That's pretty close. This is less than this, so we picked a good number here. So we know it's 3 feet, right? But do we still have a remainder? We do. So some people might think, well, what do we do with this number right here? This is still in inches. Okay, so we were able to move most of it into feet, but not all of it was able to convert into feet because we had some left over. So our answer would actually be three feet, six inches. So the big trick is knowing what operation to use. So if you use this exact chart and you're going this way, you'll know that you're supposed to multiply. If you're using the same chart and you go this way, you'll know that you're supposed to divide. Or if you're taking a bigger number and taking it to a smaller number, you divide. Okay. If it's a, a smaller number going to a bigger number, you multiply. And these are all the numbers you multiply or divide by. That's like the big trick for this lesson is knowing that. Okay. Now, um, we are going to compare by using three different signs. You can either use less than, greater than, or equal to make this a true statement. So before you can put the right sign is sign in, you need to um, put everything into the same unit first. Let's look at one type of problem that you might also see on your assignment today. You might see something like this where you're supposed to compare and you're either going to put a less than, a greater than, or an equal sign. Before you know what sign to put in, you have to decide, well, you know, which one's greater and which one's less. So the big thing to do is actually put this all into one unit. So I could either just put it all into yards or all into feet. It's totally up to you or me, whoever's doing the problem. So um, I think I'm going to put it all into feet. So this one's already done but I have to put this into feet. Okay, 
So I'm going to go from yards to feet. Okay, so I'm going to go from yards to feet. So I'm going this way. So I'm going to be multiplying. Okay, so the question is, what do I multiply this by? Let's see, how many yards are in a foot? Sorry, how many feet are in a yard? There's three feet in a yard. Okay, so 21 and 20. So this one's greater. So we put a sign in just like that. Okay, so one more time just to review. The big trick is knowing if you're multiplying or dividing, and then you have to decide what you're gonna multiply or divide by. So this chart's really helpful, or just like knowing your units is really helpful, so. Okay, good luck you guys.